All right guys, the common tendency that, that we're gonna be talking about today is late preparation on ground strokes. Uh, keep in mind, anytime you, you get set up for a ground stroke, it's like a math equation. Things have to be correct from start to finish. So every little piece of the puzzle has to be there. Um, I can't stress enough about um, how important getting organized, giving yourself enough time, giving yourself a, um, enough spacing, and then being able to, to use big body parts and really get that kinetic chain flowing um, all play a, a, a very big piece as you're hitting drives. Yeah, I think a question people ask all the time is when is it appropriate to drive? And um, it's obviously more of a complicated answer, but one of the, the most simple ways of looking at it is you only want to drive when you are really in that perfect positioning and you've prepared with your body. So we want to make sure we're uh, getting the shoulders turned, we're closing the stance if we have time, making sure that the weight transfer is coming through, uh, through the shot, and that we want to take little steps in our preparation. Remember that little steps uh, are the key to balance and it's very important to be balanced if we're going to choose to drive. If not and we're off balance, really the drop is the right shot anyways. Yeah, I always tell my students you, you only have license to drive when you have time. Yep. Uh, you only have license to drive when you have time. Uh, if you're driving off your back foot, you're off balance, I call that a bailout drive. So just keep in mind that you're calculated and you're using the right shot selection on your, on your drop or drive. And by having early preparation, that's another way of buying yourself more time. Exactly. Yeah. The three variations that I'm gonna do are gonna be lateral, going forwards, and going backwards here, okay? Um, so Kyle is really gonna work on his preparation, um, getting his hands organized, slowing things down. Yes, I understand this is a little basic, but uh, there's nothing wrong with going back to the basics in order to capture these, these little key nuggets. Okay, Kyle, so um, a couple of the uh, uh, key words that you're gonna hear me say is gonna be ready position. Okay. You're obviously in ready. Ready. And then you're gonna hear me use the term unit turn. Okay. Okay, and then set position. So, so ready position, unit turn, and then setting is just getting it back. The, okay. the unit turn is just this position here, and then getting to set. And okay. set would probably be closing my stance then, correct? Correct, correct, okay. yep. So ready position, okay. unit turn, set position. Okay, then recover and back in the middle. Same thing, forehand, unit turn, set position. Recover and get back to the middle, same thing, unit turn. Set position, and recover and get back to the middle. Same thing, now on the backhand side, unit turn, set position, beautiful, move out. Okay, shadow swing, and recover back in the middle. Same thing, unit turn, set position, beautiful, move out, and recover and get back in the middle. Did you guys notice that on his unit turn, he's just getting the body coiled, and then once he gets the set, that's when he's bringing that front foot over and then he's starting to make his adjustments going out. Okay, so every little piece of the puzzle has to be there. Ready, unit turn, set, and then we're, then we're taking off. Same thing here, ready position, uh, unit turn, set position, and move out. Recover and get back in the middle, beautiful. Now I'm gonna add uh, balls in, same idea. Um, unit turn on the forehand, set position, move out. Beautiful, back in the middle. Unit turn, set position, move out. Same thing, back in the middle, unit turn, set position, move out. Okay, same thing on the backhand side, backhand side, same thing. Uh, unit turn, set position, move out. Kyle can be trying to hit these up the line, he can hit them cross court, hopefully he's not hitting them at me. Unit turn, set position, move out. Good, he's getting some good usage with that left arm. Obviously he's got a two-handed backhand. Show us a couple one-handed backhands if you don't mind. Okay, same thing, unit turn, set position, move out. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go one more. Ready position, unit turn, set position, move out. Beautiful, good, good. Okay, next thing here, I'm gonna have Kyle scoot up a little bit. Scoot, 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 scoot. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna have him moving back for a forehand or, or, or moving back uh, for a backhand. So main thing here, same idea, ready position. Then he's getting his unit turn, he's getting to set position, but he's gathering, uh, he's, he's uh, getting back, getting balanced and giving himself plenty of space, okay? Ready here? Okay, forehand unit turn, set position, move back, shadow swing, back in the middle and recover, unit turn, set position, move back, and recover, get back in the middle, uh, unit turn, set position, move back, beautiful, backhand side, uh, unit turn, set position, move back, recover and get back to the middle, beautiful, uh, unit turn, set position, move back, Shadow swing and recover back in the middle. Let's go one more unit turn, set position, move back. Shadow swing and recover and get back in the middle. Beautiful, same idea. Now I'm just gonna add in some feeding here. Okay, up, 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 right there. And unit turn, set position, move back. 
back in the middle, unit turn, set position, move back. See how he's giving himself plenty of space, contact is being hit at apex? Yeah, trying to. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Uh, unit turn, set position, move back. Beautiful, backhand side. Uh, unit turn, set position, move back. Beautiful. Ready position, unit turn, set back. Beautiful, ready position, unit turn, set. Beautiful, okay. Last variation here, I'm gonna have him shadow swing both on the forehand and, and the backhand side. Right here, unit turn and set. Okay, go ahead. Unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Beautiful, okay, same thing, same thing. Unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Beautiful, unit turn and set. We would do the same thing on the backhand side. We'll just go through on the backhand side. Same thing here, he's getting comfortable. Not only uh, is he making these adjustments coming forward and getting organized with his hands, but he's, he's also shortening his swing as he gets closer to the kitchen line. There's no need to take a big old take back if you're halfway in here. So he's modifying his swing as he gets closer towards the net here. Uh, unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Beautiful, unit turn and set. Okay, beautiful. Let's go forehand side. We'll go three balls here. Three balls, three balls. Ready here, unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Okay, back, 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 same thing. Ready here, unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Unit turn and set. Okay, we'll go three on the backhand. Same idea, three on the backhand. Ready here. Three on the backhand, unit turn and set. Beautiful, unit turn and set. He's getting closed. He's driving off of that back foot. Unit turn and set. I like it. Sweet. Okay guys, the game here. Uh, so Coach Kyle is a foot inside the baseline. I'm at the kitchen line. I'm acting like I'm feeding a return. Um, I'm gonna feed it a little deeper. Kyle's gonna have to reposition, get his feet around it, uh, gain his balance, and then look to drive. Lower levels, um, lower levels, you, all you have to do, sorry, lower levels meaning three, five and below, um, hit one drive and then play the point out. Obviously you're, you're uh, uh, you know, recognizing what your opponent does off of your drive, if they float one or if they punch it back deep. So I think after you drive, you have to, you have to recognize and, and kind of like address and assess and, and figure out, did my opponent give me a ball that is high that I can come in and close? Or did they hurt me with a fourth ball punch volley and now I'm having to drop in the kitchen and play the point out? Higher levels, you have to hit three drives in a row and then play it out. Okay, game to seven, rally scoring. That's kind of our theme. Uh, if, I, if I were to let a ball go long, I get two. Okay. okay, ready here? Feeding deep, play it out. Okay, here we go. One zero, here we go. Points live. I missed it wide. Wow. After Nobody all saw that. that. Good point. Okay, uh, uh, two zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, take it, take it. Beautiful. So not not only is is the server working on his drive, but I obviously have to be consistent with my punch volley. Okay, uh, twenty one. Yep. Live. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty hot boy. Okay, uh, 22. Beautiful, I like it. A little, little bang, bang. Live. Yeah, it's good leave, good leave, good leave. I like it, I like it. 23, 23. One. Sorry, I'm gonna take that. Okay, 33. One. Two, three, we're live. Uh, yeah, it's good ball, nice. <laughs> Catch and release. I like it. All right guys, so to recap the game, um, we've got uh, Tyson up at the line feeding, uh, the person working 
uh, on this skill is gonna be at the baseline. For higher levels, uh, you wanna hit three drives in a row. For lower levels, play the first drive and play the point out. Uh, there's a reason I'm huffing and puffing right now, definitely at the higher levels. Uh, the preparation that it takes to get yourself balanced, to be able to play a good drive when you don't have much time off that volley is really challenging. So this is definitely gonna be one that is gonna help you uh, work the lungs a little bit.